D&D gang, what's going on guys? Another fly tying video today. You know the drill. If you are new to the channel, we do this every week, every single Wednesday, a new pattern. Feel free to drop requests in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. You don't want to miss future videos. I'm going to run you guys through the materials that'll take to tie this particular pattern. We're going to get right to it. So today we're going to be tying on a size 14, 2X long nymph hook. We have a 2.8 millimeter copper tungsten bead. We have our lively legs. Of course, they're the right sizing. and You guys can use any color you want. Any type of combination will work well. We have our golden stone fly dubbing, which will be our body and wing case. Some fine gold wire for a rib, some thin skin for the wing case, and some olive bias for the tail of the fly. Step one, you want to take your thread, start it behind the bead, and do some wraps. Get that nice and situated. Go ahead and take your tying scissors. You can clip that off. We're ready to start on this fly. You want to take your tying thread all the way down to about the point of the hook. You can stop there. Now take your olive bias. You want to cut two of those off. Now for those of you new to these materials, you want these to be away from your hook. So if you look at them closely, they will bend a certain way. Just make sure you put that bend away from the hook. That's about the length that you want, about the same length as your hook. You can transfer that off and tie it in. I like to do these one at a time, making sure it's exactly how I like it. Go ahead and make sure it's the same exact length you can kind of manipulate these with your fingers. They don't have to be perfect, but just get them the best you can. You can kind of push down on them a little. Make sure they're on the side of your hook. Usually the thread will do the rest. Go ahead and take your tying scissors and you can clip off small little parts on the side. You can go ahead and wrap and secure those down. You're ready for our next step. Take your fine gold wire, cut off about a two and a half inch piece. Go ahead and tie that right down the side of your fly, all the way back to where your biots are. So this is roughly what it should look like at this point in time, just to give you a better look. Your bias tied in, your wire at the back, and you're ready to start the body moving forward. Next step, go ahead and take that golden stone dubbing. Now, of course, you want to make sure you're going nice and light with this stuff. Can't stress how important that is. Skinny, you want a very, very skinny dubbing noodle. You want to just start right at the back of your fly. Wrap that forward. I even have a little extra there. You can just discard that. Go ahead and take your wire. equally as you can start your wraps forward up the fly and you can go ahead and tie that off I personally like to do a couple of wraps on top of the wire a few behind it and then one more over the top before you helicopter the wire loose. And just keep going, it'll break off. Next step, take your thin skin and just cut a small little rectangle. Now if you don't have this, you can use feathers, fibers off of a pheasant tail or whatever. And you wanna go ahead and tie that in. Make sure it's right directly on the top 
of your fly. And you take your little set of lively legs, of course the small legs forward, get those situated directly on top behind the bead. Make sure you give a good wrap behind each set of legs, front, middle, and even behind. And that's good about there. Go ahead and take your tying scissors and get rid of that back set of legs. As well as your front tab, you can kind of stretch it up a little before clipping it off clean. Then go back to your dubbing and put just a very, very small amount. Now this particular pattern, I did a little on the heavy side, but that's okay. You can save these for the faster water where the trout have less time to look at your fly. And that's about good there. You're just trying to build it up a little bit. Take your thin skin, fold that forward, And you're going to tie that down. It can be tricky to get it just right. You don't want to get any of your legs tangled. So take your time during this step. Look over your fly and make sure it's exactly what you want. And then you can go ahead, put another good wrap on there. Grab your whip finish tool, of course. Make sure you're sneaking in behind the legs. You might have to kind of snake it around each leg. And give it a nice four turn whip finish. Really seat the thread on that. You can go ahead and clip that off. Now pull up the thin skin on the front of your fly just a little bit. Clip that off a little bit cleaner. So here's your finished product guys. You can take your time and get your proportions a little bit better, but overall this is a fast water fly. Go ahead and use this pattern in any of your riffles on your local streams, and I'm sure you'll have good success. I'll see you guys in the next video.